Hey, what is going on guys? Sipte show back with another video. Now, the next generation of laptop CPUs and GPUs are just around the corner. Intel has already announced their Raptor Lake Mobile, the 13th gen HX series laptops are already out and you can already see benchmarks from different reviewers. And Nvidia has also, you know, announced and officially unveiled their RTX 40 series laptop GPUs and their performance numbers are also available. Now, it's just time for AMD to unveil their Zen 4 series of laptop APUs. And by the look of some of these leaked numbers, these look super impressive. So I've been following the new releases quite closely, looking for benchmark numbers and all that because I personally am going to upgrade this year. It's been five years with my Helios 31018, you know, um, and it's, it's still good, but it is really slowing me down these days. And it's really difficult to uh, do certain things like live streaming and all those things, which I'm not able to do these days because my laptop is really uh, kind of giving up at this point, especially with demanding workloads. So I'm really following the market really closely because I'm also going to upgrade. And it's for you guys as well, because I've been telling for some time now to not spend big money on uh, last generation laptops right now. Yes. Once you once the new laptops come out, if they are too expensive, definitely go for good deals on previous generation laptops. But don't purchase anything really expensive like over one lakh at the moment, because I feel the next upcoming generation that is just around the corner is significantly faster and better and more efficient than previous generation. And you just gotta wait to see what comes out. Don't just buy anything. Don't buy anything super expensive at this moment. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. At least see what's coming up. So in this video, we'll just take a look at some of the leaked numbers for these Ryzen 7000 Zen 4 APUs for laptops and kind of guesstimate how it's going to fare up against Intel uh, Raptor Lakes, uh, you know, CPUs which have like more cores right now. So yeah, it's going to be super exciting. So without any further ado, let's begin the video. But before that, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications and also the link to join the telegram group is down in the description guys join the telegram community and have one-on-one -on -one discussion with me and with other like-minded people discuss tech in general have a good time share your problems share your solutions with others and yeah uh, the link is down in the description join the telegram community all right so with that said let's get right into the video so before we actually take a look at the benchmarks let me tell you about the two types of cpus that amd is going to come out with right now there will be more SKUs in the future but for now there are two types of SKUs. now i have talked about it in more details in my uh, ces 2023 launch video of amd ryzen 7000 you can go and watch that for more details but here i'm going to talk about it in brief so amd is basically come out with uh, two types of SKUs at the moment one is on the right side which is your amd phoenix range and on the left side is your you know, Dragon Range 7045 HX series. So believe it or not, guys, but I am actually more excited for the Phoenix range. So this Phoenix range is going to come out in laptops, which are like lighter and thinner, but also in general, you know, in budget laptops. This is the 7040HS series. This essentially has replaced the H series of you know, Ryzen CPUs that we just generally see. No more H series, it's only HS and HX. Um, so basically, the HS series is going to come out in, you know, thinner and more efficient form factors and also in uh, laptops which are in the set of the budget range, right? And these are built on TSMC's cutting edge 4 nanometer processing node, which means these will be crazy efficient. These go up to only like 8 cores um, and 16 threads, they don't go above 8 cores. So it's like 6 cores and 8 cores. But um, as we look at into the benchmarks, the leaked benchmark, uh, you're going to be impressed with it, guys. And on the left side, we have the 7040HX series. This is basically the full fat desktop CPUs that are being crammed into laptops. These are basically the exact same Ryzen 7000 desktop CPUs that are power limited or like running in eco mode in laptops. So yeah, this is these are going to go up to like 16 cores and 32 threads. So there, there's like six cores, uh, eight cores, six, 12 cores and 16 cores. So these are going to be the exact competitor to uh, Intel's HX series of uh, CPUs, whereas the HS series, the Phoenix range is going to compare with the uh, Intel's, you know, P series and H series, both of them. But let's take a look at the first leaked benchmark. So basically the Ryzen 7 7840HS Cinebench R23 benchmark has leaked. So this one is like 8 cores, 16 threads, I think boost clock up to 5.1 gigahertz, right? And the Cinebench R23 multi-core uh, 
result has been leaked now keep in mind these are preliminary results uh this may improve with the final release as bios and all is sorted uh, power limits are sorted also we don't know what kind of laptop was this run in so those things are you know take we take it with a grain of salt but if you look at the benchmark result 16854 that is mighty impressive just to give you some context this 7840hs which is an hs series part which generally like you know hovers around 35 to 45 watts and boosts up to 65 watts sometime but most of the time it like drops down and stays in the 45 watt uh, range this thing has basically outperformed last generation's fastest 14 core i9-12900H in Cinemage R23 as you can see here here are some benchmark numbers and you can see the i9-12900H scores around 16,575 points and basically the 7840Hs has beaten this one and I can assure you I'm 99% sure that the 7840Hs has taken less than half the power as the Intel Core i9-12900H so this is shaping up to be amazing guys because I've always told something right performance is already good enough all CPUs from the last couple of years like Ryzen 5000, Intel 11 gen, 12 gen, 13 gen, Ryzen 7000 all have good performance like performance is no longer the issue the issue is efficiency and power draw and especially in the laptop form factor efficiency is extremely extremely important and this is where you know AMD's Phoenix range is looking really really impressive like I am amazed that this 8 core HS you know process of the 7840HS remember there is also 7940HS with slightly higher boost clocks but yeah I don't think it will make much of a difference but yeah the 7840HS this is actually the CPU that I am most interested in because 8 core 16 threads is plenty enough for me and the performance on display is insane so beating the 14 core i9-12900H uh, that is super impressive and I'm pretty sure as I said it is drawing like less than half the power as the core i9-12900H so that is like super super impressive guys yeah and the next benchmark that has leaked is of the ryzen 9 7845hx which is of the dragon range apus and this thing has got 12 cores and 24 threads but what's really really amazing is that this 12 core 24 thread apu is barely slower than intel Core i9 13980HX, which has got 24 cores and 32 threads. So you can see that the you know 13980HX, you know, which has 24 cores, double the number of cores as the Ryzen 9 7840HX is only 12% faster on average. And that and one more thing that is super impressive is that the 13980HX is extremely impractical in the real world that thing boosts up to like 150 watts and above that is insane like a normal person will not be like you know like in my opinion this thing is like ludicrous like 157 watts up like maximum power drop of the 13980HX like that is just crazy and this thing is only like 12% faster than the 12 core 7845HX so you know the 16 core 7945HX is probably going to just blow apart the Ryzen, uh, the Intel Core i9 3980HX. So that was actually a pass mark, but actually if we talk about Cinemage R23, which is like the benchmark that most people use to show the multi-core prowess, uh, you can see that the i9 3980HX, you know, uh, with 24 cores and 32 threads, scores about 30,000 points in Cinemage R23 multi-core. And I've seen it score as high as 31,000 with those crazy you know uh, power draws and all that like absolutely crazy power draws uh however 30407 mm, doesn't look that impressive actually considering the power draw which draws which it draws like 157 watts or so the reason i'm saying this is because if, if you look at amd's numbers right here's the amd's number you can see amd actually compared like the i9 12900hx against the 7945hx and if you compare these two, you can see AMD, if we are to believe AMD's numbers, AMD is saying that in Cinemage R23, the 16-core uh, 7945HX is basically 
52% faster than the 14 core i9 12900HX from previous generation. So if we basically use this data to compare against our data for Cinemage R23, we can see that the i9 12900HX scores about 23,000 to 24,000 uh, points on Cinemage R23. So if the Ryzen 9 7940HX is 52% faster than the Core i9 12900HX, then it will land at around 35,000 points on Cinebench R23 multi -core. That is significantly faster uh, than the Intel Core i9 13980HX in multi -core performance. So that is, uh, you know, just what I said, right? Just more efficient processor doesn't really lose that much performance when power limited. Uh, that is the biggest benefit of AMD. So in the laptop form factor, AMD will be keeping most of the performance that it is currently packing with the desktop series processors. Also, Asus has claimed something really, really interesting. So Asus basically claimed with their, uh, I think with their Zephyrus Duo uh, 7945HX laptop, yeah, basically what Asus said that with PBO, that is basically AMD's uh, precision boost overdrive. So it's kind of like AMD's automatic overclocking tool, automatic this thing happens automatically. Uh, Asus is claiming that we will just, uh, like they will be able to match the full desktop 7950X performance. That is mind blowing. So, uh, you know, already we can see, right, that AMD claims, if AMD, if AMD's claims are to be believed that the 750X, 7945HX is going to score at around 35,000 points in Cinebench R23 multi-core, then with precision boost overdrive, I'm pretty sure what Asus is saying that we will be able to get the desktop 7950X performance in laptops. It is completely believable. This act, this can actually happen. And if this happens, oh my God, I, I, you know, even though I'm not going to purchase some such a beast of a laptop but it just you know makes me incredibly uh, fascinated so yeah that was all about the comparison between intel 13 gen raptor lake and amd ryzen 7000 mobile i mean I, I must say guys i'm super excited for ryzen 7000 laptops because just the combination of performance and efficiency is something we don't see from intel and uh, with you know with amd also introducing usb 4 uh, which also has backwards compatibility with Thunderbolt. So, you know, it's just like I'm really excited for the 7840HS. This particular uh, CPU is what interests me the most because I hope this thing will come at around laptops in, you know, around the 1 lakh 10, 1 lakh 20,000 rupees price range. If that happens and it comes along with a nice, you know, let's say an RTX 4060, something like that, then it might be really good. I just hope the prices are under control and the supplies. Uh, are in check like AMD can at least supply uh, like these laptop APUs right because for Ryzen 6000 AMD just fell flat like there was just no supply for Ryzen 6000 uh, so yeah uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and you learn something and if you are thinking to purchase a higher laptop I hope this video will be putting some thought into you that the upcoming generation of CPUs and GPUs are really is really going to like lift the bar for portable performance and it's definitely worth waiting that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button and definitely subscribe and turn on notifications link is down in the description to join the telegram community and that's it i'll catch you in the next one peace